Hello, this is Tura Satana. I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we went about making Doll Squad. I remember the first time that Ted gave me the script and I read it. And I thought, well, I could either play Sabrina or one of the girls. And Ted said he wanted somebody who had a, a little larger name than mine. So I suggested a friend of mine by the name of Francine York. Apparently Francine came in, got the job, which was good, because I preferred that I work with my friends. There was also Sherry Vernon on the set, and uh, Lee Christian, and the rest of the girls. They were a nice crew. There, there was no backstabbing or anything like that on the set. Everyone got along fine, which is very unusual for a whole crew of girls. It was almost like working on Irma LaDuce again. <laughs> anyway, we uh, first did most of the shooting at Catalina, or en route to Catalina, via yacht. Uh, in the process, while we were there, uh, there was a lot of, uh, I guess, drinking and carrying on, and uh, and everybody was having lots of fun on the boat, getting the sun. We all the girls were in their bikinis, getting a nice tan. Uh, I think maybe the captain had a little too much beer or something like that because he ran into another sailboat. We almost sank it, but God forbid we didn't. <laughs> Anyway, it was while we were shooting the scenes uh, where we were coming in off the rocks and, and off the boat and off uh, the skiff that took us into shore while Lee, was, uh, while Lee Christian was swimming. At any rate, the, the gals and I, we all had just a great time on the boat going over. There was a few that got sick, but not too many. Coming back was the worst part. But let me finish telling you what was going on. Anyway, while we were shooting that, after we got changed and dressed and into our uniforms, we were getting flea bites and everything else there. So it was quite hectic. But it was also a fun time. We all enjoyed ourselves. It was, uh, it was a chance to get to learn what all the other crew members were like and what uh, what was expected of us in the, in certain scenes, and we enjoyed it. I know I especially enjoyed doing some of the uh, kicks and some of the uh, the knocks and uh, the shootings and the blowing up of things that we did. Anyway, from Catalina, after we got. After we finished shooting some of the scenes there, we headed back, and uh, seas got a little rough. About that time, everybody got sick, even Ted. <laughs> even Ted Michaels got a little sick. Not very much, just a little, but everybody else was just heaving their guts out. We, I, I never saw a crew that was so happy to get back on land as that crew there. <laughs> anyway, once we got back, we headed out to the desert to a little place that is like an Indian retreat where um, they go back to meditate, uh, strictly vegetarian type of uh, cuisine. and. They had little, like, uh, brick cabins there that we could stay in, and and um, and we we would have our meals there. But like I said, it was strictly vegetarian, so uh, not too many people cared for it. I think. At any rate, they had a swimming pool, and I was able to bring my children out, and we uh, we had some fun there. The kids got to swim in the swimming pool, and I got to um, kick butt. So we had a ball, and we uh, 
we told, we explained to some of the girls how certain things were supposed to be done, and they seemed to enjoy it too. So, I mean, it was a kick. It was always, it's always nice to have nice people to work with. After that, we had, uh, you know, we had some of the blow-up scenes where we blew up the, uh, supposedly the house and uh, and the and the compound where um, Egan was supposed to be Egon or whatever his name was. <laughs> anyway, it was it was one of the few times that I could really enjoy myself and not have to worry about. Uh, did I get that line right, or did I not get that line right? Because it was mostly shot from the hip. <laughs> Ted did a great job. I know there was a few times when he was getting a little frustrated, and, and we had to straighten that out. But uh, other than that, everything seemed to work out very, very well. By the time we got finished, we shot some of the scenes. Um, after we were in the desert, we shot some of the scenes of the girls in my house uh, where one of the girls was held prisoner. That was shot in my house in, uh, in North Hollywood at the time. And uh, what else? There was, uh, there was uh, some of the shots that were shot in, uh, in Ted's, uh, I don't know if he had his castle then or not. Yes, he did. Uh, some of the shots were shot in his castle, and, and we, we had a good time. We really did. And, and I can say that the crew that we worked with were some of the finest people I have worked with. They were fun to work with. They were professional. They were totally into doing a good job, which, thank goodness, they did. Well, I hope you like my rendition of what went on. <laughs> you might find that um, that once you hear this, you'll enjoy certain parts of the film a little bit more. In the meantime, everybody have a great time. Enjoy the film. Bye. <laughs>